Good morning children. Today as a EVS subject teacher, I am going to teach you the first lesson of our syllabus. Let's do an activity. Can you recognize, can you identify what is inside it? No. Because you are not able to see it. Let's see. I am smelling it. You can call it sniffing also. I think banana is inside it. Let's open it and identify it. Oh wow, it's banana. Now children, with the help of this activity, you come to know that we use our sense organs to identify the things. We use our eyes, we can use our nose and we can use our other sense organs also. In the similar way, as we human beings have the super sense, have the senses, the Animals also have the same kind of senses, but they have a little bit more stronger senses. So, we call their senses as a super senses. Our chapter name is the super senses. Now children, can you tell me how many senses we have? Yes, we have five types of senses. The one is nose, this one, eyes, ear, skin and the last one is tongue. Now let's see what work we will do with the help of these sense organs. Nose is for the smell. Eyes to see, ear to hear sounds, skin to feel and tongue to taste. Now in the next uh, part I will teach you the super senses of different animals. Okay? Now children, we will take up one by one different types of animals and we will learn how they have the super senses. Now just see, what is this? Jaggery. Good. In Hindi we call it good. You can take sugar, you can take any toffee, you can take any sweet for this and place it here and there in your home. Okay? Observe it. Observe it for 5 to 10 or 15 minutes and then see how much time the an insect, you can call that insect an, an ant, came to eat this sweet thing. Okay, and just write down in your notebooks also. Now in ants, the first animal, you will see that they come to the place of uh, eating by smelling the object, you know. So, ants have the super sense of smell. With the help of this super sense of smell, they do, first of all, they smell the things. They smell the things. They recognize their friends. Recognize their friends. And even they recognize that they identify their holes and they move in lines. They move in lines. All these things an ant do with the help of a smell super sense. Next animal we will take up is the dog. Dog, a very common animal. You know, we all have a pet. Normally, we have a pet dog in our houses, and you observe it very, very closely. You can see that when the dog is sleeping, and you try to go very silently um, passing by uh, him, you will see the ears of dogs stand up like straight, and it will be like this. And 
comes to know that okay now someone is passing by me and when you give something to eat like if you are if you give them this piece of roti or chapati to him it will not eat directly you know what it will do first it will do the this thing and then he if he finds kids okay then it will eat and if it will don't like then it will not eat now we will see that the how the dog use the smell of super sense of smell first of all he smell the things then third one is the smell urine now you will see why smell urine to identify their area identify their area and also to identify the enemies also okay this all these things the dog do with the help of their smell and for this super sense of smell these are used by the tourists to identify what to identify the thieves bombs their bodies etc okay now the next animal we will take up is the very common animal and you all must know this mosquito it's an insect and you per day you come to buy uh, to see this uh, insect in your house and you always feel that how in the dark this insect identify us and try to bite us and even bite us okay and then how because us mosquitoes also have the super sense of smell how they use it they use it to the smell of our soul soul this part the foot part the this part is the palm part they smell of this area of our body and then they bite us and also they also feel to to feel the body temperature our body temperature they feel and they come and they bite us next thing the next animal or the next very thing we will take up is the kites eagles or even the vultures you know vultures eat only the dead animals they have the super sense of eyes eyes how huh? they see four times better than us four times better than us and that's why they can see from the sky and up to the ground and they take up the things and eat them okay in this way this is a super sense for the kites and vultures and all these things third animal where the uh, next animal we will take up is the silk worm silk worm it's also an insect it has also a super sense of smell how it recognizes it recognizes its female by its smell the male part use the smell of female part to recognize when where it is living the next is very dangerous but i can give you a very uh, you know uh, amazing fact about it that is 
a snake. We all feel scared about the snakes, no? Okay, but you know the snakes. You see the saperas; they are looking like that and plain bean, and the snake is looking, uh, doing like this. The hood. Okay, but the snake doesn't have ears. The ear, they don't have the ears. No ears. Then how it, it will feel? It will feel the sound. It will feel the sound <coughs> with the help of with the help of its. skin you know like that like that we can hear it uh, if the snake also feels the vibrations of the sound and feels the sound and then it will recognize ki, yes somebody is near me okay the seventh number we will learn about the seventh thing is the very 40 years Okay, it lives up to the age of 40 years and it sleeps 17 hours a day. 17 hours a day. And it lives on the trees only. It eats the leaves of the trees, it sleeps on the tree, it sits on the tree, it never comes down on the ground. It lives always on the trees. Okay. When we come to the word sleep, here we can come to, uh, I will teach you, I will uh, teach you the sleeping clock also. Sleeping clock. Okay. What is sleeping clock? Let's see. Dog. Cat. Cow. Giraffe. Python. Okay. An example is of uh, lizard. You know, dog sleeps during the daytime. And that's why they can observe only the two colors. White and black. Cat sleeps up to the six hours. Sorry, twelve hours. Cows only for the 4 hours, giraffe for the 2 hours only, python for the three, uh, 4 hours and lizard for the 6 months. We can make the sleeping clock for them. How? You can draw with me, make a circle <coughs> because we will make it 24 hour clock. Take a 24 o'clock <coughs> that's why we divide this circle into 12 parts 12 parts in each part this part will be for the 2 hours ok now see if we want to draw the sleeping clock for the lizard lizard sleeps for the 6 months in winters <coughs> In winters, if you want to make the clock for this sleep, this lizard, how we will make it? Because in the in the winters it sleeps all the 24 hours. Hours you have to make it black because the lizard is sleeping. But if you want to draw for the summer, in summers you have to make it white because now in the summers the lizard never sleeps. And in a similar way, if you want to draw for, for the cow, you have to draw color it the one because it shows that the cow is sleeping only for the two hours. And if you want to make the uh, sleeping clock for the zero, again the two hours, python, you have to draw color it more. In this way, we can draw the sleeping clock for the different animals. Okay. Next is children. Now, there are sounds, animals like the langur, 
fish, birds, they produce alarming sounds. They produce alarming sounds. As the name suggests, alarming, they alarms the other animals from the danger of other wild animals like the tiger or the lion. But how the fish? You know, for example, during in December 2004, when the tsunami came, these fishes make a little bit different kinds of sounds. And so the people living in that area, they understand now something is going to be wrong in the sea, uh, ocean. And they uh, come to the, they go to the safer places and they survive after the tsunami. Only due to the fishes. Birds, they also produce the alarming sounds during the mating time. They call the birds they tell them about the dangers and these all are known as the alarming sounds. Okay, the last animal which we learn about is the I'll show you this picture. Okay, you must recognize it. It, it. It's a very beautiful animal, cat. It's big cat, you know. Do you recognize it? Yes. It's a tiger. See? About the tiger, you know. First of all, tiger is our national animal. Okay. The first fact about it is the national animal. Next is it is a big cat. A big cat. Third one is that the tiger. This, these whiskers, these whiskers, they are very sensitive, very sensitive and it helps the tiger to recognize its prey from a very long distance. It can feel, it can feel the sound or the vibrations. The third one is that, uh, the fourth one is about the roar. The sound of the tiger you can hear from the distance of 3 kilometers. Okay. The next is that the tiger has a very super sense of eyes. It can see 6 times better than us in dark. Okay. 6 times. 6 times better than humans. And it helps him to find out its prey in the dark uh, night also. Then seventh one is the, it also recognizes its area with the help of the urine just like the dogs. And the other one is that it produces the different kinds of sounds, different sounds. Different sounds like, or roars like, when it calls its female part, it roars differently. When it roars on the prey, it uh, uses different kind of sound. Okay? And this tiger, as it is very beautiful, you know, some people came to kill all these animals to the jungle. Why they are coming? They are coming to kill them. And we call them hunters or poachers. They kill the wild animals for their skin, like the tiger, like the snake, like the crocodile, like the elephant, elephant for tusks, you know tusks, the white dhati dhan, they make ornaments with the help of this and the musk deer, musk deer. Musk is a kind of scent, you know, scent. And they kill this deer to find the scent from its uh, inside the body. They kill the snakes. Snakes for their poison because poison is used in many medicines. And they kill the crocodile also. Crocodiles to get their skin. Children, we must take a pledge 
that we will not buy things made up of any animal part and we will not buy anything which will be display in the uh, kitchen or in the ornaments or made up of any animal part okay to make or to save them these animals our government our indian government has started a program especially for the tigers is a project tiger project tiger to save the tiger from these hunters as well as the government has made national parks like example jain corbett in uttarakhand bhana bird sanctuary in bharatpur rajasthan gir for the lions in the gujarat and in the elephants for elephants in the kanjiranga national park so in india there are about more than 2200 of national parks in which these animals are keeping safe from the hunters okay now children this is all about the chapter and uh, it, after that we will come and we will do something thank you